Hi guys, I am MD Shahjada Imran. Today I will make a video about troubleshooting. I will make a video about an HP My Flight Sample Application Recognition issue uh, using UFT. So I have UFT installed here. Now there are three sample applications. If I go here under HP software under UFT and sample applications there are three sample applications this one is HP my flight sample application if I click here the sample application opens so this application is a Windows based application it is not web based it is a Windows based application developed uh, using a WPF but if I use now if I use object spy it's identifying as an as a window but it should be identifying as WPF window WPF edit WPF button those things it should identify but it is right now identifying as a window so that's the problem now the problem is UFT cannot identify the windows based application or the hp my flight sample application uft is unable to identify it it is identifying as a window so that is the problem now we have to troubleshoot we have to fix it so now i will analyze first let me record and see what happens if i go and record um, I'll put uh, here John G O P N, and I also put uh, HP, and I will be clicking on stop recording. So I just recorded recorded few steps, and here also I can see it identified as a window. It didn't identify as a and WPF window, WPF uh, edit. So now what if this one i manually opened this uh, application windows based application i manually opened what if i ask uft to open it let me uh, record that object from the object rep delete that object from the object repository that i recorded uh, in the previous step now i will be opening this windows based application using uft so this is the application i copy i'll be asked uft to open it instead of i manually open system run, and this is the application now if i run it it will open I run it now I can see there are two there are two applications when there are two applications open then that is the problem uh, we but uh, we don't want that so the first step on the troubleshooting we have to if there are multiple uh, application we have to close the additional one so we can use the task manager and check how many applications are here right now there are two applications so we can man manually open task manager and close or we can ask uft to close uh, for us so, so i'm telling uft to close uh, that uh, this is part of investigation so now if I run it it will the script UFT script will close whatever uh, open applications are here how many all the 
open HP my flat sample application right now there are two if there are more also it will close all of them and open a fresh new one so if I run it that is what uh, the script will do it closed both of those and open the new one now this is the first thing uh, on the troubleshooting make sure only one application or only one instance of the application is open this is and the second thing i have to check on the record and run settings on windows i have to make sure this one is checked sometime by default this one is checked uh, but um, when we are doing the troubleshooting we have to make sure this second step also so we have to make sure this one is checked it's already checked and the third one first one is uh, making sure only one instance of the application open second thing is make sure it is uh, properly checked on the record and run settings and the third one the most important one that is uh, checking the add-ins if i go files settings and uh, properties this is where the add-ins if i click on modify add-ins i don't see that uh, i don't see that uh, wpf the add-in has to be wpf but right now that is not available then what is the solution we have to close uft and open again so i'll be clicking on cancel here click on ok here i'll be closing uft because wpf add-in is not available there if if that was there we could have just check it but since that is not there i'll be closing uft this is i'll be closing uft now i will be opening again uft uft is launching now this is what this is the add-in was missing so i have to make sure this is checked I, checked in both places i'll be clicking on ok this is the most important thing for this application for this hp my flight sample application now i will open that I will again check uh, on the settings under properties if that showing here or not it is unchecked so I have to check it I checked both and click on ok click on apply just double double checking yeah these two are checked okay I'll be clicking on ok now if I do the object spy uh, it is showing WPF, uh, WPF window, WPF edit. It is not showing as uh, previously showed. Uh, previously it was showing only window. But now it is showing WPF window, WPF edit, WPF button. So all those things. Even if I record. If I record, let me see what happened. I put here. John and put here HP and stop recording so this time it identified as WPF window uh, WPF edit so the problem is solved the problem was um, UFT was unable to identify this Windows based application HP my flight sample application UFT was unable to identify it was identifying as window but now we did the troubleshooting there are three steps that we followed one is we made sure that only one instance of the application under test is open this one by by these two lines and then second one I made sure under windows application only this one is checked otherwise i had to add this application if this one is checked i had to add this application there now this is okay and 
third one the most important one to check uh, file settings and check uh, this is uh, this is here and also this is checked previously it wasn't here so I had to close the UFT and launch again and then during launching I had to choose these two and once this uh, test opened I had to check this too and this is how we can fix this problem thank you thank you guys for watching